Hello, my name is Beth Sharp, and I'm the Worldwide Technical Leader for SAP Modernization at AWS. Thank you for viewing this AWS Generative AI for SAP use case in our series of videos. Pavel will join me to review QuickSight Q capabilities and share a demo. Today, we're going to talk about how Amazon Q and QuickSight can be used to generate insights and dashboards for your SAP and non-SAP data and your AWS data lake using natural language. We're going to start with an overview of Amazon Q and QuickSight for procure to pay insights, followed by a demo and next steps. Data is easily accessible and can also be consumed by other purpose-built AWS services, such as our AI and ML services. Using a data-driven approach, you can turn your SAP data into actionable insights. Q and QuickSight can help you generate insights using natural language to help you unlock value from data and to accelerate decision-making and easily adding dashboards to address current challenges. Pavel will review more details for Q and QuickSight for SAP data and share a demo. Turning over to Pavel. Thank you, Beth. Hi, everyone. My name is Pavel Masarovic, and I'm the Principal Innovation Architect for ERP based out of Vienna in Austria. Let's review the generative BI capabilities of Amazon Q and QuickSight and how they can be leveraged for the SAP data and insights. QuickSight's mission is to make it easy for end users to gain value from data quickly and with ease without going back to IT or tech team for answers to questions. Amazon QuickSight's Q enables everyday users to ask questions of their data in plain English. Uh, the QuickSight ML models interpret those questions and intend to come back with a visual answer to those questions. Q also supports forecasting questions to three measures simultaneously and also ask why questions to identify the key drivers to changes in the data and quantify contribution by each driver. Key topics are collections of one or more data sets that represents a subject area that your business users can ask questions about. Let's explore how this looks like in concrete example for SAP procurement data. Okay, so as you can see here on the screen, here's my QuickSight console, and I'm going to navigate to topic where I prepared already topic for SAP procurement data. Now within the topic, as a procurement manager for SAP, I would like to understand the overview of the purchasing for the last quarters. So what is the quarterly invoice amount? And you can see that QuickSight Q will then come up with the overview of the overall invoice quantity by quarter, which I can then enlarge here. And then can further drill down into and add some of the more insights in terms of the anomaly detection and also forecast that gives me the highest and the lowest quarter, and as well the forecast for the next period. Now I can see that there were some spikes and some anomalies and increase in the Q1 2023. So I would like to understand what happened in there. So I will ask the why questions that we talk about and I introduced before. And as you can see here, there were a couple of changes in the data that were the key drivers for the increase in the quarter, like the material group invoice uh, quantity increased, uh, the overall uh, amount of the items of the suppliers. Now, let's explore what are the uh, key five suppliers that we have in 2023, or better to say, what were the top supplies concentration last year? Here you can see that QuickSight Q come back with the analysis of the top five suppliers in 2023, where I can again go further down and understand what are the top three and bottom three suppliers and what was the total aggregation of the price for that particular period. Now, if I like the question, I can also validate it as a verified, which means that it will then serve the other business users that will use the same topic when they ask the same question as a validated one. I, would, I can go further down and understand what we are buying from those suppliers. 
So in other words, was the breakdown of the net cost by material group. And here are the materials that were bought by those suppliers, which again, in that I can go further in the data and see what are the top three and bottom three materials as well as the total aggregation of the price. So this shows how easily with the topic you can get answers in terms of the business questions from the business users. Now this is just to show how the topic works. Of course, you can also add it into so-called dashboards so you can create from those questions dashboards. That gives the user the option to see the value of the data, as you can see it here, which is the total invoices we had, together with the forecast that presents the yellow part here that shows the upper and lower range and the expected forecast for the coming period. Then, of course, you can release the dashboard. And it was all in the demo. Thank you, and I'm handing back to Beth. Thank you, Pavel. Now you know how you can use Amazon Q and QuickSight for SAP Insights. Amazon Q and QuickSight can enhance your team's efficiency and productivity while accelerating the time to value and insights. As next steps, we will work with you to understand your use cases and share generative AI on AWS training opportunities for you and your team. We can work towards a proof of concept and production ready solution with help from our experts. They will guide you through your generative AI journey in solving diverse business problems, aligning business and technical stakeholders, and building an executable roadmap. We hope this video will help you on your SAP Generative AI on AWS innovation journey. Thank you for spending time with us exploring AWS Generative AI for SAP. Please reach out to Pavel or I or your account team for more information. Thank you.